Good morning, folks. The Real Captain Kirk here live from Weather Trends 360 Studio here in Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. It is the 6th of May. A lot to cover today. We're going to talk about the two-week outlook, tons of rain, tornadoes, uh, how we do business, year-ahead weather forecasting, and, uh, of course, an Angelina Kirk sighting. Um, looking, if you think it's wet, obviously it's been very wet across much of the country here this year. Uh, year-to-date rainfall, fourth wettest in 30 years. Uh, we're trending about 8.5% wetter than last year's wet, pretty wet year and 15.8% uh, wetter than average. Have to go back to 1998 for that extremely wet start to the, to the season. But again, if you're in that uh, southeast area from, uh, say, Arkansas into Tennessee, there's already over 30 inches of rain reported. So pretty epic. Um, the other thing that's starting to get a little epic here now is the tornado season. We warned about this, that it would be in a uh, much above average season here compared to some duds here recently, uh, kind of inactive seasons as of late. But um, ramping up pretty rapidly with 40, 456 tornadoes and counting uh, across the U.S. This is the preliminary numbers, but that uh, is getting us into that 75th percentile, so it's uh, quite a bit above average. And uh, talking more tornadoes here this week, uh, looking at this week, 6 through 12 May, again, for the nation as a whole, we're going to be cooler than last year, 13th coolest in 30 years, uh, so not terribly hot unless you're up in the Pacific Northwest where they're way above average. Rainfall is again, unfortunately, on that wet side, second wettest in 30 years and wettest since uh, in 24 years. Um, again, last year this time was the driest in 30, so polar opposite uh, weather-wise here. Got to look out from Texas to Kansas, Oklahoma, those areas, or even Arkansas. Definitely another uh, severe weather week here with uh, probably quite a few tornadoes to be reported, unfortunately. Uh, if we um, jump ahead here uh, to Mother's Day, it is, uh, remind all the dads out there, <laughs> it is Mother's Day's weekend coming up. Um, so not too terrible. Uh, coolest in three years, kind of near average for the nation as a whole. Last year was the second hottest in 30 years. Uh, be a little drier than last year, but again, 12th wettest in 30. So not a total washout, but anywhere from the south central, uh, southwest actually, southeast, a little bit in the Ohio Valley, not too much. But um, again, a little bit of a weather to contend with, especially in the southeast. Uh, and all our fans on Facebook, uh, the ladies out there are like, why are you covering up that cute little girl? So we'll talk about her at the end here. Um, looking ahead here to next week after Mother's Day, uh, again, coolest in three years, 12th warmest in 30, so it's not that it's uh, terribly cold, but again, just the cooler trends here across the country, especially in the east and parts of the west. Uh, what's different? <laughs> Number one, what is in 30 years? So uh, again, very, very heavy, uh, three, four, five plus inches of rain across the southeast. They kind of need it in uh, Florida and the southeast, uh, been on a little bit on the dry side. Uh, the rest of us don't need it. Um, fortunately, maybe, hopefully, <laughs> the Ohio Valley to uh, the Mid-Atlantic, uh, a little drier pocket there of uh, much less rainfall next week. Hopefully that pans out because we could certainly um, love to dry out here in the east. Uh, jumping ahead here to uh, a little bit of uh, business of how we do what we do, and I promise there will be a Angelina sighting here at the end, but our core business is year-ahead weather, uh, prediction of temp, rain, and snow by week, by mile, everywhere on Earth. Uh, that's a lot of points, 32 million of them. Uh, the next phase is just to predict uh, seasonal sales. So we're predicting uh, tens of thousands of categories for our big Fortune 500 companies. So looking at their sales data to then project what's it mean. Uh, what's it mean for May as a train wreck? Um, the map chart here on the left is uh, May trends nationally forecast here for versus last year. So much, much colder, about um, 4.6 degrees colder than last year. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but we'll translate that to the sales and how that's a huge change from the record hot May last year to a quite a bit cooler, much, much wetter May this year. Chart on the right is the uh, trends versus average, but again, that means nothing for our big uh, Fortune 500 companies. And if we put this into map form, again, this is the year-over-year -year trend for May. Uh, so much, much colder. Those dark blues are 10, 15 degrees colder than last year. Um, only spot that's actually trending warmer on a national scale is probably Florida, um, just a slightly warmer than last year. One of the things our analytical sales tool does is predict the sales. So these are how one degree of temperature change year over year uh, influences these sales. So air conditioners are extremely volatile. You either need it or you don't. So every degree hotter, about a 15% increase in sales. Shorts, sandals, you know, those types of category apparels, typically about every 3% for degree hotter. Uh, beer and beverages are typically in that 1%, 2%, as are most food categories like lettuce, picnic categories, your grilling, 2 3% per degree hotter. Um, so let's just translate that again. We said May would be 4.6 colder than last year. Um, that's the prediction. So against those numbers, those numbers are the positive side. Unfortunately, there's a downside. So if we look at those trends here, this is what the translation of the weather would mean for some of these seasonal categories and just huge downward trends for air conditioners, lawn tractors. Again, it's excessively wet, much cooler, 
yes, grass is growing, but again, it's just a, it's a negative, typically a little bit warmer, slightly dry, not drought would be better for tractors. But everything under the sun pretty much is unfortunately a downward trend for the, for the big retailers that had such a phenomenal year last year. Uh, so again, this is how we typically help them uh, predict how much inventory they need, where to promote it, when to advertise. And again, unfortunately, all those decisions for them are made a year in advance at least. So that's why our year ahead forecasts are, are always out there at least at least one year. Um, so again, that's the, the goal of what we really do here at Weather Trends uh, 360 and helping these uh, big Fortune 500 companies uh, and even small businesses today, um, helping them proactive versus reactive. So here's the little one that uh, I was masking with mommy. Um, trying to find dry weather has been a challenge here on weekends. Um, we did sneak between the rain clouds and got a chance to go out there and uh, play with a swing and then with the deluges that we've had here uh, in the east over the weekend we daddy's job is to find the uh, the fun indoor activities so we uh, headed over to the da vinci science center and uh, the little one played with the hydraulic dinosaur uh, she actually thought this was pretty fascinating so kind of cute to watch her um, explore uh, all the mechanics here she's having a great time until she realizes wait a second where's my daddy um, so wherever daddy goes she wants to go so uh, with that, folks, we hope you have a great week, and we will be back here this time next week.